want to talk to the governor and have the bust of Nathan Bedford Forrest removed from the Capitol. Those are the two demands from demonstrators who set up tents on Legislative Plaza about this time one week ago. And after a week, their demands have not been met. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs spoke with some of the protesters who say they aren't going anywhere until something changes. We wanted to speak with the governor. However, a lot of lawmakers have come out and spoken to us. Legislative Plaza became more than a tourist attraction, more than the grounds where you'll find the war memorials. It became the home away from home for many protesting for equality and the end to systemic racism. There are people who have not left at all. We've been sleeping on the ground and we have two demands before we will leave here. Either we need to speak with the governor or he needs to remove the Confederate monument of Nathan Bedford Forrest. Meeting these demands were worth the risk of Jay Terry getting arrested by THP troopers this past week when protesters tried to cross barriers to get inside the Capitol building. We got here June 15th, Friday at 5 p.m., and we've been here ever since. Day and night protesters here at Legislative Plaza say they will be here as long as it takes to see progress and improvement toward racial equality. We don't plan to leave. We took a vote earlier today because we know that the lawmakers are leaving for the weekend and we asked the members of our group if they wanted to leave and come back and we unanimously decided as a group that we did not want to leave. We are not going to leave until our demands are met. Terry says despite it all, there has been improvements like Metro Nashville police banning the use of chokeholds and the resignation announcement from police chief Steve Anderson. But she admits there's more work that needs to be done. We are perfectly capable and willing to outlast the legislatures as well as the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Governor Lee says he will only engage in productive dialogue and talks about defunding the police are not productive. As for the forest bust, he says the decision to remove it is up to the Capitol Commission.